Von Willebrand disease is going to be an autosomal dominant disorder that is ultimately going to lead to low levels of the von Willebrand factor. Low levels of von Willebrand factor is going to result in decreased factor 8 levels, which is going to prolong PTT. Now, if you go back to this slide, we're going to see that von Willebrand factor is going to be important in stabilizing factor 8. As a result, this is going to increase the half-life of factor 8. And remember that factor 8 is going to be part of the intrinsic pathway. And remember that PTT is going to be a test that measures the intrinsic pathway. So if we have low levels of factor 8, then this is going to increase PTT because of the disruption on the intrinsic pathway. Now, if we go back to this slide, we're also going to see that low levels of one brand factor causing an increase in bleeding time. And this is going to be due to the impaired platelet adhesion. Now, remember that one brand factor is going to bind to platelets and platelets are going to do that by using their glycoprotein 1B receptors. And so if we have low levels of one blood brand factor, then this won't happen. And so this would disrupt primary hemostasis. And therefore, it is going to cause an increase in bleeding time, which is going to be a measure of primary hemostasis. We will also get an abnormal Ristocetin test with low levels of Wombler-Brand factor. And the reason for this is because Ristocetin is going to be an antibiotic that is going to cause binding of glycoprotein 1B receptors on platelets to the Wombler-Brand factor. If we have low levels of Wombler-Brand factor, then this aggregation is not going to occur. Therefore, it is going to result in an abnormal Ristocetin test. Now, the treatment for Wombler-Brown disease is going to be desmopressin. Desmopressin is going to stimulate Wombler-Brown factor release from endothelial cells. And this is how desmopressin is going to help with Wombler-Brown disease.